In this exercise, I will be demonstrating how to use algebra blocks to show equations. My first equation is 3x plus 7 equals negative 2. So, you first must know that each one of these yellow blocks is equal to x, because we don't know the length of this. And each green cube is equal to 1. So, when able to set up 3x plus 7, we must first set up positive 3x plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is 3x plus 7 is equal to negative 2. So your negatives go on the bottom of your balance. <coughs> now, the point of an equation is to balance it. So you want to get all of your constants, which is your green, your green ones, all of your constants on one side and all of your x's or variables on the other. So, and able to do that, you're first, first going to want to subtract this value, which is 7, of your constants. So to do that, you're going to add 7 into the negatives because you're subtracting them. 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you're going to do that to both sides, because what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. So 2, 4, 6, 7. And then, this is important to pay attention to, attention to you're going to make a zero pair when they even out over here. So for every one of these, one negative is equal to one positive. So these are going to make zero pairs and cancel out. There's five, and here's five. So these are going to cancel out. Now... You have all of your constants on one side and your variables on the other, and your variables are all positive at this point. So what you do next is you notice you have three x's and nine constants. So it's three x equals nine. Now you're gonna to wanna to take your constants and break them into the equal amounts, which is the equivalent of dividing by three to solve only for x. So what you can do is say, you have three x's, go and just break them into even groups. So, and since these were in the negatives, let's move these back so that it's clear. You now know that x equals negative three. My next equation is 4x plus 2 minus 3x equals 8 minus x. So let's set that up. So it's positive 4x plus 2 minus 3x. So remember that if they're minus, they're in the bottom, is equal to 8, 2, 4, 6, 8 positive 8 minus x. And remember, if they're minus, they're in the bottom. So first things first, you look over on this side and you notice that there's some x's in the top and there's x's in the bottom. That just means that there's got to be a zero pair in there somewhere. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, which means zero pair, they're going to cancel out. Now, remember, you're going to want to get all your x's and all of your constants on opposite sides. So Right now, let's go ahead and move our, our x over to this side. So to do that, you're going to want to add an x to both sides. And on this side, they're going to cancel out. Okay, so now you still have content, constants left on this side. So you're going to want to subtract 2x to move them. This makes a zero pair. They cancel out. Now, over here, you know that you have a bunch of constants in top or in negatives and positives, which means you have some grouping or some cancellations you can do over here. So two and two, that makes a zero pair and cancels out. Once again, like the previous problem, you have two x is equal to six, but you need to put your six into groups of two as if dividing by two. So you can set your, your x's away and take your group and just for each one you give an even number. So now you know that x equals 3.
my next equation is 2x plus 8 minus 4x equals 12. We'll set that up. So we have 2x plus 8 minus 4x, so those go on the bottom, equals 12. 6, 8, 10, 12. So you notice again over here, you're going to have a zero pair. So 2 and 2 of your x's cancel out. So, next, you're going to want to move all of your constants to one side. So you have 2, 4, 6, 8 constants. So you're going to want to subtract 8 from that side. And what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So subtract 8 from the other side. These are going to make a zero pair. Now you have to look and see if anything makes zero pairs over here. So you're, you know you have 8 in the bottom, so you should get rid of 8 in the top. So 2, 4, 6, 8. So right now, everything is even, but your x's are negative at this point. So you want to make your x's positive. So to do that, what you can do is move them to the other side. So you're going to add 2x to both sides of the equation. These are going to make a zero pair and cancel out. But now your, your issue is, is that your constants and your variables are on the same side again. So you're going to want to move your constants back onto the other side. So you can do that by subtracting 4 from both sides. These are going to make a zero pair, cancel out. Then once again, your x's are finally positive. So 4 equals 2x. So you're going to want to regroup. So now you know, these are in groups of 2 now, that x equals negative 2. The next equation I'm going to show you is 3 times the quantity 2x plus 1 equals 5 times the quantity x minus 1 quantity plus 3. So, using parentheses can make it difficult, but really, this is just showing what they call the distributive property. From, so that means you're going to have three 2x plus 1s. So, to do that, you're going to have three, you're going to have two x plus 1s, so there's one group. Two x plus 1, that's two groups. Two x plus 1, that's three groups. And then equals two, you're going to have five we have five groups of x minus 1. So let's do that. So x minus 1, that's one group. x minus 1, that's two groups. x minus 1, that's three groups. Slide them over so we have a little more room. x minus 1, that's four groups. x minus 1, that's five groups. And then, remember, we have to add that 3. So we're going to go ahead and add that 3 to the top because they're positive. So you know that you have a zero pair that's available over here. So three, three, that means these ones all cancel out. They make a zero pair. Now, you wanna get your constants and your variables on the same side, remember? So, what we can do is go ahead and subtract one, two, three, four, five x from both sides. One, two, three, four, five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are going to make a zero pair and cancel out. And we'll slide these out of the way. It would appear that we have a zero pair available on this side too. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are going to cancel out, make a zero pair. Now you have to move your constants to this side. So you know that 1 plus 3 is equal to negative 2 at this point, but you need to move this 3 to the other side. So you're going to subtract 3, because that's how we move them. These are going to make a 0 pair, cancel out. So you know that x is equal to negative 5. 